Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, I'm going to take you through the 10 basic movements. What is the 10 basic movements? The 10 basic movements is a sequence of blocking and striking put together to form pattern. This pattern is part of the syllabus for white belts when they take their first examination or grading in Taekwondo. So I'm going to walk you through step by step in detail how to do this pattern. So be sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss anything. So let's get straight into it. So whenever we start a pattern, we start a pattern in a tension stance. So like this. Our feet are together, our hands are beside our legs. From there we're going to go into Jumbi. So our hands are going to come together. We're going to step out with our left foot. And then our hands are going to come up slowly. They're going to form a fist. And then they're going to come back down. And then this, when you're still like this, this is what Jumbi looks like. From there we're going to go into horse riding stance. So our hands come up, our left knee comes up, and the foot is resting on the inside of our right leg. So from here, our left foot comes down into horse riding stance, and our hands come beside our hips, and our knees are slightly bent with our back straight. So from here, our knees are slightly bent, back straight, we're not too low, we're just slightly bent. So now we're in horse riding stance, we're going to do the first movement. So our left hand is going to come down with our thumb tucked underneath our hand. From there, the right hand comes on top of our shoulder and then we're going to do low block like this. So from here, the right hand comes down and our left hand forms a fist and comes onto our hip like this. From there, the second movement, we're going to open our hand up, the blocking hand. Our left hand comes on top of our shoulder and we're going to do a low block again. So we're going to repeat both movements each side. From there, we're going to form a marking hand for an hour's block. Our left hand comes up, the right hand comes underneath and then we're going to do an hour's block. So the hour's block, the hand is in line, the same height as the shoulder and it's a bit to the side of our body. Like this. From there, we're going to form a marking hand. The hands will come out, straight out. Remember to th tuck your thumbs underneath. The left hand comes underneath, and then we're going to do another outwards block. From there, we're going to do high block. So to make the marking hand, left hand comes up, and then right hand comes up. High block. So the high block, it's not next to your head. It's sliding in front and sliding above. From there, we're going to make another marking hand. With that hand, comes up, and then we're going to do another high block. From there, we're going to make another marking hand for a punch this time to our body. So the marking hand comes in line with our body, and from there, we're going to punch. When we punch, we punch to the center of our body, to the solar plexus, like this. And then from there, we're going to make another marking hand, punch out. This time we're going to punch the face, so our marking hand goes this time to our chin height. From there, we're going to punch again. And then last movement, form another marking hand and punch. And when we do this punch, we shout. So from here, ha! So this is the last movement of the pattern. Now our hand is going to come on our hip. And then from there, we're in horse riding stance still. And we're going to return back to a tension stance. So what's going to happen is, our left foot this time is going to come back to our right foot and we're going to go back into Jumbi. So our hands come together, they come up, form a fist and back down. From there, we're going to go into a tension. So our left foot comes to our right foot like this and hands come besides our legs. If you want to see me doing this pattern at the pace that you'll do it in a grading or examination, please check out this video here. So if you still have any questions, please put them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Jazakallah for watching and I'll see you in the next video inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.